In the last video we did an in-depth analysis on the differences between the Omatikaya Navi and the Oceanic Metkayina clans. But there are quite a few more tribes and races of these blue aliens in Pandora. So here we will showcase all 17 Navi tribes, races, avatars and hybrids. Now let's get to it. Number 1. The Omatikaya This is the most well-known type of Navi and they are a forest race. They have a deep connection to the jungle and the wildlife in the woodlands of Pandora. They have a slim body, very long hands, a thin tail and formerly reside in a home tree and later hiding in the Hallelujah floating mountains. They have a dark blue complexion and are experts in riding banshees. Number 2. The Metkayina This is a very different race of Navi and is an oceanic clan and have very different set of physiological traits like fin-like lower arms and legs by extension of the cartilage, a paddle-like tail, bigger and wider placed eyes, a turquoise skin color and wave-like stripes and appear to be bulkier in body size. They also bond with marine animals like the Elu, the Skimwing and the Tulkans. Number 3. The Ni Aove This is a relatively lesser known Navi clan and are theorized to be the first Navi on the planet moon of Pandora. They are probably the ancestors or the precursors of the forest Navi since they reside in a home tree in the Valley of Origins. There are theories that suggest that Navis are actually from elsewhere or were genetically engineered which we will discuss in another video and these Ni Aove were the first of them. Number 4. The Taukami This is a tranquil forest Navi tribe that lives in a settlement of Greenhome, deep in the Pandoran jungle. This clan has always kept a close check on Awa's ecology in order to keep it in balance and it is famed for its never-ending search for knowledge and lore keeping. Also known as the Sky Seers, they value knowledge, record keeping, chemistry and research, similar to humans. Number 5. The Tipani This was one of the first tribes of Pandora to make contact with humans. They are spiritual but also crafty and extremely lethal in battle. They live in a dozen villages, wear armor and masks and are well known for their ability to wage war and fight. The Tipani travel light-footed and unseen because of their Lofty size, sheer strength, acute hearing and keen eyesight. Number 6. The Olangi This is a nomadic Navi community that lives by moving around following wildlife throughout its periodic migration patterns. They dwell in the shadow of the huge trees that cover the plains in wicker cottages constructed by long grasses or wood. The clan specializes in cavalry and relies on dire horses during battle fighting to prevent the advance of RDA AM suits and infantry forces during the battle in the first movie. Number 7. The Teirangi Also known as the Ikran people of the Eastern Sea, they are a coastal Navi tribe noted for their banshee riding prowess comparable to their northern sister clan, the Kekukan. Since they live in the coastal areas, their adaptations to oceanic life isn't as developed as the Metkayina but also more evolved than the forest races and they might be an intermediary between the two. Number 8. The Anurai Another forest tribe, the Anurai, are great crafters and artisans. They labor meticulously on their crafts, gaining inspiration from the elements around them. The Anurai adore the Thanator, Pandora's fiercest land predator, and it is their totem animal. Most members of the Anurai clan have been slaughtered, unfortunately, in recent years. Number 9. The Leona Also a forest tribe but are the most affected by human factories and industrialization, since they reside in now near arid and polluted areas near those factories. They are different from many other tribes as they are very peaceful and they did not join in the war in the first movie. Number 10. The Hulanta These are the wetland tribes and reside in swampy forests and marshes. They are experts in pottery and weaving, often using whirlpools in their design as they consider water to be the most sacred element. Unfortunately, an RDA bombing run killed a lot of them and they had to find refuge elsewhere. Number 11. The Hoyutikaya Might be another Navi race with a couple of distinct evolved physiological traits with a slightly bigger tail and a bulkier body. They are known for their adoration and reverence of the viper wolves and they frequently decorate with viper wolf motives. They also apply white war paint on their faces, hands, feet and other places of their body to demonstrate their fearlessness in the face of death. Number 12. The Kekukun These are another clan of Navi. Little is known about their existence, however, they are thought to be better at banshee riding than any other clan. They are recognized for their quick reflexes, calm demeanor and a brave heart, which are essential to tame a banshee. They dress in bright colors to show their gratitude and trust in the creatures that maintain their way of life. Number 13. The Mankwan 
These are another type of navis that are very elusive and little is known about them. The only thing we know of them is that they are welcoming to outsiders and outcasts, which might tell us that they are a tribe made up of outcasts and navi renegades from other tribes. Number 14. The Ray Tanu They make their home in the desert highlands. Because the biodiversity in their environment is low, they have evolved to more primitive agriculture and grazing rather than hunting. Because of their arid lands and the capacity of the Navi to evolve to their surroundings very quickly, they might be more resilient, have a brownish skin color and have a lower metabolism due to the lack of water. Number 15. The Tomakta This clan of Navi is a clan that is known for their love and respect for Banshees. They are also very close to the forest clans in physiology and might be a close relative to the Kekugan clan since they often decorate their streamers with iconography of the Banshees. And 16 and 17 together, the avatars and hybrids. These are a genetically engineered human Navi hybrids designed to serve as a remotely controlled vessel for a human mind. They have five fingers instead of four. The avatars tend to have a more pronounced nose while the Navi have a flat cat-like snout. They also have smaller eyes. Hybrid offsprings of avatars and Navi, like the children of Jake Sully and Neytiri, exhibit the same characteristics as their hybrid parent while also showing a lot of the natural Navi traits as well. So with that, we come to the end of the 17 types of races, tribes and hybrids of Navi on Pandora. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.